Do you remember our list of weird body facts from a few months ago? Well, if not, click here. Anyway, your comments were pure gold, so I'm diving back in. Have you ever given any extra thought to your stomach lining or the bones in your skull or pondered whether double uteruses were a real thing? I've got you covered. And don't even get me started on the embarrassing borborygmus. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 amazing facts about the human body. 25. You can pinch a weenus as hard as you want. No, no not, not that part of the anatomy. Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm talking about the weenus, that patch of skin on your elbow. Have you ever tried to give it a good pinch? Go on, don't be shy. If you're wondering why it barely registers on the pain scale, it's all about nerve endings. Different areas of your skin have different sensitivities. Tough skin, like that on your elbows, has fewer pain receptors than more delicate areas because your body prioritizes protecting vulnerable areas with more nerve endings to quickly signal when something's wrong. So it's okay to pinch your weenus. It's built to handle it. 24. The human body and soap. Did you know that the average human body contains enough fat to produce around seven bars of soap? Yep, our bodies are basically walking soap factories, and our connection to soap doesn't stop there. In certain conditions, decomposing bodies have also been known to produce a waxy substance called adipose hair, which has a soap-like consistency. Morbid, I know, but it is fascinating. 23. A human heart can beat outside the body, too. As it turns out, our hearts aren't dependent on our brains to keep pumping. Nope, they've got their own electrical system, which is why a heart can actually continue to beat for a while, even after being removed from the body, as long as it has a supply of oxygen. The remarkable ability is an essential component when it comes to organ transplants, as it gives doctors a window of time to transplant and implant a heart into a recipient. So while it might seem a bit unnatural, it highlights the incredible resilience of our most vital organ. 22. We are all born with the diving reflex. Have you ever wondered how those brave parents get their babies to hold their breath underwater when teaching them to swim? I mean, have you seen those videos online? It's wild. It just so happens that those little ones aren't just fearless, they're tapping into their inner Aquaman, or Aqua woman, thanks to something called the diving reflex. When our faces are submerged in water, our bodies instinctively kick into survival mode. Our heart rate slows down, blood flow gets redirected to our vital organs, and we instinctively hold our breath. This reflex is stronger in babies, but it's still there when we grow up, helping experienced freedivers hold their breath for those impressive amounts of time. Like Kate Winslet holding her breath for eight minutes on the set of Avatar 2, The Way of Water. Broke a record, I believe. 21. Pregnancy brain. If you've never heard about it, pregnancy brain exists, and it's a real thing. Forgetfulness, difficulty concentrating, and a general feeling of mental fuzziness can all be part of the package when a woman is expecting. Luckily, it's only temporary, and a direct result of the hormonal roller coaster the human body experiences during pregnancy. It usually disappears a month or three after the baby is born. 20. Lungs are never sterile or germ-free. It would make sense to think that everything inside your body is squeaky clean and germ-free. However, that is not the case at all. While you might imagine your lungs as pristine air filters, they're actually home to a bustling community of microbes. And it's not just the lungs. Many of your organs, including your gut and skin, have their own unique microbiomes. It might seem gross, but these tiny organisms play important roles in our health, from aiding digestion to boosting our immune systems. 19. The ultimate air filter. And since I'm on the subject of not so sterile body parts, let's talk about your very own air filter, your nose. We might not think about it often, but our noses play a crucial role in protecting us from harmful particles in the air we breathe. They trap dust and pollen in the sticky mucus lining in the nasal passages where your tiny nose hairs or cilia then sweep those trapped particles toward the back of the throat to be swallowed or coughed out. On top of that, your nose also warms and humidifies the air you breathe before it reaches your lungs. So we really should give it more credit. 18. Coughing and sneezing. 
Now that I've covered the lungs and nose, let's talk about those forceful expulsions we call sneezes and coughs. They aren't random occurrences. They're your body's way of defending itself against unwelcome intruders. When dust, pollen, irritants, or even germs enter your respiratory system, your body reacts by forcefully expelling them through a sneeze or cough, clearing your airways, and protecting your lungs from potential harm. 17. Mouth Breathing and Lisps did you know that how your child breathes can actually affect how they talk? Studies have shown that children who primarily breathe through their mouths instead of their noses are more likely to develop a lisp. That's because mouth breathing can change the way the tongue rests in the mouth, making it harder to pronounce certain sounds, particularly the S sound. So if you've got a little one who's a mouth breather, it might be worth checking in with your doctor to see if there's anything that can be done to help them breathe through their nose. It's also a way to go naming lisp when people who have a lisp can't pronounce lisp. 16. Gut-Brain Axis Have you ever noticed how stress can give you a stomach ache? Or how anxiety can leave you feeling queasy? Scientists call it the gut-brain axis, and it means that your gut and your brain are constantly chatting with each other, sending signals back and forth. So that upset stomach you get before a big presentation, that's your brain sending stress signals to your gut. And that feeling of butterflies in your stomach when you're excited, that's your gut sending happy signals back up to your brain. It's a two-way street, and it shows just how interconnected our bodies really are. 15. Some women are born with two uteruses. Did you happen to see that Grey's Anatomy episode and wonder if a double uterus is a real thing? Well, it is. It's a rare condition called uterus didelphus, and it means some women are born with two separate wombs instead of one. Each of these uteruses has its own cervix, and in some cases, even separate vaginal canals. Now, while it's certainly fascinating, it can come with challenges. Women with this condition have been known to experience complications during pregnancy, as well as increased discomfort and pain during their periods. 14. Your stomach lining stays busy. Your stomach lining is constantly renewing itself. In fact, it's one of the fastest healing tissues in your body. It completely replaces itself every three to six days, shedding old cells and generating new ones. This rapid turnover helps to protect your stomach from all that acid it gets exposed to during digestion and the wear and tear of processing the food you eat. So while that extra spicy meal might cause temporary discomfort, your stomach is already replenishing itself faster than you can say, past the antacids. 13. You can live with one lung. You can actually live a long, full, and happy life with just one lung. It might sound theoretical, but our bodies are actually pretty adaptable. Now, how well you do with one lung can depend on why the other one was removed. If it was due to an illness like cancer, there's always a chance it could come back. But if you had to say goodbye to a lung because of an injury and you stay healthy otherwise, you shouldn't have any major limitations. I actually know someone personally who had a lung removed. Hola. She's probably watching this. 12. Rubitosis. Have you ever been lying in bed trying to fall asleep when suddenly you become hyper aware of your own heartbeat? If so, you've experienced rubitosis. It isn't just a heightened awareness of your heartbeat though. It's a complex experience that can involve both physical sensations and emotional responses. While some find it neutral or even comforting, others feel unsettled or anxious. If this happens to you, don't worry. Take a few deep breaths or change positions. The feeling is usually fleeting. 11. The ratio between arm span and height. You might be surprised to learn that for most people, the length of their outstretched arms is almost exactly equal to their height. Trust me, go measure it. Okay, so I'm 5'10". So let's do, I mean, it's given a couple of inches. Oh, yep, I dropped it. Oh God. But yeah, my wingspan is about 5'10", and ah, God, as you can see, that's what I am, 5'10". So, oops, it works. It's a fascinating coincidence of human proportions. And that's not the only surprising measurement. No, get your mind out of the gutter, still not that. While it's not a perfect rule for many people, the circumference of their waist is about double the circumference of their neck, give or take a Big Mac or two. 10. The link between your emotions and your immune system. Remember how I talked about the gut-brain connection? 
Well, as it turns out, your emotions can actually have the same kind of impact on your immune system. Studies have shown that feelings of guilt, especially about enjoying life's little pleasures, can actually weaken your immune response. This means that if you constantly feel guilty about eating that extra piece of chocolate, you may become more prone to illness. So while it's important to maintain a healthy lifestyle, it's just as important to live a little and not feel guilty about it. Nine, your skull is made up of 29 different bones. That noggin of yours isn't just one solid shell. It's actually a complex puzzle of 29 different bones. Yep, you've got eight cranial bones surrounding your brain, 14 facial bones giving your face its unique shape, a hyoid bone supporting your tongue, and even six tiny auditory bones to help you hear all of these fantastic facts. Eight, a human brain has more than 100,000 chemical reactions every second. 100,000 reactions every second, people. The astonishing activity is essential for everything from basic bodily functions to complex thought processes. In fact, your brain is so energy hungry that it uses 20% of the total oxygen and blood in your body, even though it only accounts for about 2% of your body weight. Your brain is remarkable. It's constantly working, processing information, generating thoughts, and maintaining the intricate systems that keep you alive and functioning. That's incredible. Seven, your ability to daydream is a sign of higher intelligence. Have you ever been told off for daydreaming? Well, it's time to embrace those mental escapes. Research suggests that daydreaming isn't a sign of laziness, but rather a sign of higher intelligence and creativity. When your mind wanders, it's actively working behind the scenes, exploring new ideas, making connections, and problem solving. So next time you catch yourself daydreaming, don't feel guilty. You might just be unlocking your inner Steven Spielberg or William Shakespeare. Six, you can build stronger muscles by working out for three seconds a day. This item on today's list might just change your workout game. A recent study suggests that even a few seconds of intense exercise per day can help you build muscle strength. Now, I'm not talking about a leisurely walk. Think more along the lines of a few supercharged reps with heavy weights or resistance bands. While it might sound too good to be true, the research indicates that short bursts of high intensity exercise can be surprisingly effective, especially for those new to working out. Five. Water at mealtimes can help you lose weight. Looking to shed a few pounds? Well, here's a simple trick that might surprise you. Drink water with your meals. It might seem too easy, but water is a calorie-free way to help you feel fuller, so you're less likely to overeat. Plus, studies have shown that drinking water before meals can even boost your metabolism, helping you burn more calories throughout the day. And if you swap those sugary drinks for good old H2O, you'll be cutting down on those sneaky extra calories without even realizing it. Four, humans are just about the only primates without a penis bone. You ever wonder what sets us apart from our furry friends in the animal kingdom? Besides our obvious lack of fur and superior selfie skills, there's one more thing that might surprise you the penis bone. Yep, while most mammals, like chimps and even bears, have a bony structure called a baculum in their penises, humans are part of a small group that doesn't. Scientists think that this might have something to do with our relatively quick mating habits and less intense competition for partners compared to other animals. So while it might seem a little strange, our lack of a penis bone is just another thing that makes us, well, human. Three, your body heat comes from muscle contractions. Your muscles are your body's built-in furnace. They generate heat with every contraction, which is why you warm up when you exercise and shiver when you're cold. But here's the surprising bit. Your muscles are still producing heat even when you're not actively moving. This baseline level of heat production is called your basal metabolic rate, or BMR. It's the energy your body uses to keep essential functions like breathing and blood circulation going strong. So even when you're just chilling on the couch, your muscles are still hard at work, generating heat to keep your body temperature stable. Two, your birth weight may affect your sensitivity to certain allergens. Did you know that your allergies might not have started after you were born? In fact, research suggests that they could have developed while you were still in the womb. According to the research, your birth weight, which is influenced by your mother's diet and overall health during pregnancy, plays a much bigger role in how sensitive you are to allergens later in life. While more research is needed, the discovery opens up the exciting possibility that mothers could potentially influence their child's allergy risk through their diet or by taking specific supplements during pregnancy. What are you allergic to? Let me know in the comments below.
I got lucky. I'm allergic to one thing and one thing only. It's called Zinicef. It's in the Keflex family. It has to be injected into me so I can, I can totally handle it. But uh, I got lucky when it comes to allergies. Just one. And it barely registers as one because don't really see it all that often. One, Borborygmus. Borborygmus. I just love saying that word. Oh, you want to know what it means? Ah, well, you know that terribly embarrassing conversation your stomach likes to have with itself in a quiet elevator or that high profile corporate meeting? Yeah, that's borborygmus. It happens when the muscles in your digestive tract are rhythmically contracting and pushing food, fluid, and gas through your intestines. 100% normal and everybody has it. And while it can be embarrassing, at least you know, you're not alone when it comes to the symphonies of stomach sounds. So, do you have any weird quirks about your body? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, for me, my eyes, they're very small. I can't seem to open them when I get surprised. All that happens is my eyebrows raise. I can order, I can't widen my eyes. And then my finger, uh, my cousin, I he jammed it so I can't, I can't close this like that. And immediately I can't, I can't keep that one shut. So there's that. So that's just a couple. My thumbnails don't align either. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. That one's higher. I think when he jammed it, it like twisted my thumb. So now my thumbnails don't align. That's just some of them. <laughs> Let me know yours. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones. Links in that description. And if you enjoyed today's journey through your body's oddities and wonders, you will absolutely love the list that we did a while back on 25 ways that your body is weirder than you think. To get to that one, Click right here. We all have weird bodies, so don't worry. Click it, you'll see.